Hey everyone, welcome into One Cent Sports Cards YouTube channel. Today I am doing a 45 card PSA reveal that's got a little bit of basketball, a little bit of soccer, and a lot of baseball. We even have football, so we got all four sports going in this one. Um, all of these cards, except for a few of mine, were submitted by Patreons. I submitted for them on their behalf at no extra charge. That's one of the perks of being a Patreon of the One Cent Sports Cards channel. I will submit cards for Patreons at no additional charge beyond the grading fee itself. That means I cover the shipping to and from, I cover all the paperwork, I do all the legwork on that. So we have about seven or eight different Patreons that did this. I believe these were submitted back in October. Um, so I'm a little late making the video. I've had these kind of back for about a week, but with the holidays and stuff, stuff has been slowed down. So without further ado, let's get started. Our first batch of cards is going to be from Patreon Andrea. Andrea submitted six or seven cards. So let's see what she got here. Andrea, you're up. Let's do it. Here we go. First one, a sweet Topps Chrome 2018 Raphael Devers. This is the X-Fractor card. Nice parallel here. One of the more popular parallels in the Topps Chrome rainbow. This one for Andrea coming in at a gem mint 10. So we're starting off on the right foot. We get a gem mint 10. We'll see how many gem mint 10s we can get today. So our next one going to be a Spencer Torkelson. This is a 2022 Chronicle Spencer Torkelson. This is the Vertex Purple. It is numbered 9 out of 25. So a low numbered Spencer Torkelson rookie card right here from 2022 Panini Chronicles. This one comes in at another gem mint 10. So a Spencer Torkelson rookie card, Gem Mint 10. That's two. And then she had some basketball cards in here. Our first one. Now, as you guys know, I don't do basketball nearly as much as I do baseball, but Cade Cunningham from the Pistons, obviously a big card right here. This is a 2022 Chronicles Cade, uh, Cade Cunningham Green Ice Parallel. I don't, is it numbered? I don't think it is. No, it is not numbered, but it is the green ice rookie card parallel. Just making sure it's not numbered. I don't know as nearly as much. So this is the playbook. Here we go. 2022 Chronicles comes in at a gem mint 10 on the Cade Cunningham rookie card. So another gem mint 10 starting off on the right foot for Andrea. Our next card in Anthony Edwards, 2020 Panini Prism. This is going to be the base yeah, it is the base. Anthony Edwards, rookie card. This one comes in at another gem, mint 10. So that's four for Andrea, the Anthony Edwards. Nice one there. Our next one is going to be another Anthony Edwards. This is the Obsidian. Now, this is a much thicker card. Let's see what we get here. This is the Electric Etch Asia. Is it numbered? think it is, but it is the Electric Etch Asia Parallel, Anthony Edwards from 2020 Obsidian, another rookie card. This one comes in at a near mint eight. So this one, a much harder card to gem up because of its thickness um, and because just its sensitivity on the surface. Everything on this card kind of looks centered up. Not quite sure why it gets an eight, but it does. So we get our first eight. So we'll Put our 10s over here, our 9s, our 8s. We'll see what else we get. All right, so last card for Andrea. She's got a Jalen Green, Green Parallel, Green Wave Parallel. This is a rookie card from 2021 Panini Prism. This one, I believe, was probably, isn't this part of Hobby Boxes? Exclusive to Hobby Boxes, I believe. Again, don't know a ton about basketball. But Jalen Green, Green Wave Parallel, Rookie card coming in at a gem meant 10. So overall, we get five tens, one eight for Andrea. Andrea, congrats on that. Now we go to Geary C. Geary hit this card in a break. An awesome card right here. Love this. Vladimir Guerrero, one of my favorite baseball players of all time. Not junior, senior. This was from uh, Platinum Anniversary 2021 Tops. Uh, Chrome Platinum Anniversary. This is the Vladimir Guerrero autograph. Awesome one. Comes in 
at a gem meant 10 for Geary. So Geary, congrats on that. We pulled this straight from a break, submitted it. It comes back as a 10. Very awesome card right there. Jealous, Geary. Love that card. Congrats on the 10. Now we have Ronnie M up next. Ronnie, I believe, submitted three cards, two which are David Ortiz, or as he used to be known back in Fleer, 1997, David Arias from the Twins. So these cards, David Arias rookie card, which is actually a David Ortiz, big poppy. He submitted two of these. So Ronnie, let's see what we get. 1997, David Arias, you can see in parentheses, David Ortiz. This is going to be his rookie card from 1997. Fleer comes in. Add a gem, mint 10. Very nice right there. Hard card to gem up. So we get the gem mint 10. So we're on a 10 streak. That's very nice. Let's see what the next one comes in at. Congrats on that one, Ronnie. All right. His second one that he submitted also in very good condition. So here we go. The 97 Fleer. This one comes in at the gem mint 10 as well. So he gems up both of them. Congrats on that one, Ronnie. Then he also has from Tops 2022, this is Series 1, I believe, the home field advantage, Mike Trout, home field advantage card, case hits from the flagship. I believe this is Series 1, could be Series 2, I'm not sure. But anyways, home field advantage 2022, Mike Trout comes in. At a mint nine. So we get our first mint nine, but still a very nice card. Mike Trout, obviously going to hold the premium. I love this card. Very cool card. So Ronnie, congrats on that one. So we get our first nine. And then we have Victor H. Now, if you guys watch my PSA reveal videos, you know Victor submits Eduardo Garcia going for the rainbow. So let's see if we can get some tens for him. This first one, a very nice Sapphire from 2021 Bowman Chrome Sapphire Edition. This is the purple. It is number 23 out of 25. So the Eduardo Garcia 2022 purple comes in at a gem mint 10. Beautiful one right there. Congrats on that one, Victor. One for the rainbow. Love it. Eduardo Garcia. Now he's got another one coming up. This one going to be the purple. Now this is the standard Bowman Chrome this is going to be the Prospects Purple. This one numbered 241 out of 250. Eduardo Garcia. This one going to come in at a mint nine. So we get a mint nine on the purple for Victor on that Eduardo Garcia. Now, as we've, we've probably graded 15 to 20 of those, tens are hard to come by. Why? I don't know. When Victor submits these, they all look fantastic. I believe they all could get tens, but they we get a lot of nines and I'm not exactly sure why, but here we go. This one's going to be the purple shimmer. Same year, Eduardo Garcia, 2022 Bowman Chrome. This one numbered 101 out of 250. Let's see what we get with the purple shimmer coming in at a gem mint 10. So we gem up on this one. So we get the purple shimmer to gem up. Congrats on that one, Victor. Then we have one more over here for Victor. Another Eduardo Garcia. This is going to be the green. This one, number 23 out of 99. So let's see what we get on the green. The green coming in at a gem mint 10 as well. So the gem mint 10 to 99. Love that one. So we actually do pretty well on the Eduardo Garcias. Three out of four gemming up. Now he also had an O'Neill Cruz. This is 2022 O'Neill Cruz rookie card. This is a refractor parallel from Topps Chrome 2022. This one comes in at a gem mint 10. So we get our 10 over here. And actually, I was putting 10s over here on accident. So let's make sure I didn't screw something up. There's a 10, 10. I want to get our 10 stack legit. So that was a 10 as well. So I got two nines and one eight. So we're doing really well. All right. So our next card now, this is going to be soccer. Again, we're still with Victor. I'm going to have to read the label on this one. 2022 Merlin Chrome, Yosufa Mokuko. I'm assuming that's how we say his name. This is the orange mojo refractor. It is numbered six out of 25. So the Mukoko 
Again, I know nothing about soccer, guys. I know nothing. Orange Mojo Refractor. This one's going to come in at a mint nine. So we get another nine. Not quite sure. Maybe a little bit of centering. Looks a little more heavy on this side than it is on this side. That's probably what takes it down to a nine. And then we have Erling Haaland. This one's going to be numbered out of 250. It is the Atomic Refractor. Another one from 2122 Merlin. And this one numbered 39 out of 250. You can see the 39 out of 250 there. So let's see what the Erling comes in at. Erling going to come in at a gem mint 10. So that gems up. We get Erling Haaland. I believe he's a striker. Is that what they called him? Sorry, guys. I'm, again, not a soccer guy. Then we have the wonder child. Kylan Mbappe just missed out on a World Cup championship, but one of the more memorable games, or so I'm told. This one also going to be a, an atomic refractor. Numbered 151 out of 250. So here we go. Let's see what the Mbappe comes in at. From 2021-22, Merlin Chrome going to come in at a mint 9, the Mbappe. Not quite sure. Again, I mean, just tough to tell. Just tough to tell, especially on an atomic refractor. But we get the mint nine there. So overall, do pretty well for our boy Victor. Now we have John W. John submitted, I believe it was six or seven cards himself. So let's see what he's got. We'll start out with the top, with the twops, a tops. Pro debut 2022. This is a James Wood autograph. One of the big prospects in San Diego's organization. So let's see the James Wood tops pro debut gem mint 10 autograph. Nice one right there for starting off for John W. So John, congrats on that one. Our next one. Whoop. I almost turned it around. Almost showed it off. Ellie de la Cruz wonder prospect. In the Reds organization, this is going to be a pink fireworks rated prospect from 2022 Don Russ, Ellie Day La Cruz. Pink fireworks parallel comes in at a gem mint 10. So an Ellie De La Cruz gem mint 10. Beautiful one right there. John off to a good start. John also has a little bit of football in the mix. So he's got Kenneth Walker. Now this is a 2022 Luminance. Kenneth Walker, this one autographed. It is numbered 152 out of 299. That should probably see it right there. Out of 299. So this is the Kenneth Walker from Luminance, the third. Comes in at a gem mint 10. So John gets a gem mint 10 in the Kenneth Walker. He's got another Kenneth Walker. This one's numbered one out of 10. This is from 2022 Leaf Metal Draft. It is the Black Wave. Autograph, like I said, it is numbered one out of ten. Kenneth Walker, metal draft. Here we go. Let's see what it gets. A gem, mint ten. So John racking up the tens right here. We're doing great on this submission so far. John, uh, John congrats on that one. This next one gonna be a Hendon Hooker. This from Leaf Flash 2022. This is the blue, whatever that is, metalized? Metalized? I'm not sure. But anyways, I do know it is number two out of 25, the Hendon Hooker. So here we go. Let's see what the Hendon Hooker out of 25 gets. The blue metal, metalized sparkle gets a gem, meant 10. So John taking tons of gem, meant, gem meant 10s, the Hendon Hooker. All right, and then we also have Desmond Ryder. This one going to be the orange prism Desmond Ryder from 2022 Leaf Metal. This one numbered four out of seven. So really low numbered one right here. Desmond Ryder coming in at a gem mint ten. I don't think he's got a nine yet. We got a we 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 got a guy. We got a grader that's. Love and get, he, had, he had a good day at the office, obviously. Lots of gem mint tens here. Congrats on that one, John. Then we finally have from 2022 Luminance. This is the year one Chris Olave signature rookie card. While he was on Ohio State having a 
good season. Been injured the last two weeks for uh, the Saints, but in a great organization as a wide receiver. So let's see. Hold on one second. Let's see what we get here. We have a gem meant 10. So John goes perfect on his submission. 100%. And we got another 10. So stacking up 10s, a great ratio so far. Now, these next cards, these are actually going to be mine. I submitted a few. Don't expect all 10s out of mine because some of them are just, I want graded. This one is the 19 or 19, the 2000 Bowman. This is the John Lackey Drefics. This is not even the Chrome. This is the paper. Now, I need this one for the 2003 Angels World Series team. So I'm trying to complete the set registry, trying to get these all in Gem in 10s, but it's really hard. This is the best one I had. It's so hard to find them now. This one has a little ding. I'm assuming this comes in at an 8, but it'll come in at a mint nine so the john lackey this one going to the pc we get a mint nine there actually a little bit better than i thought it would do so i'll take the nine then this one is another one for my set registry i'm trying to collect all the top series one uh hall of famer short prints because it's a great year some of the photography they used was awesome so this is the george brett from 2020 tops series one the george brett short print image variation Comes in at a gem, meant 10. So we get a nice 10 there. That's awesome. That's actually better than I thought it would do. I thought it would maybe get a nine, but I will take the gem mint 10 any day. Again, that's for the set registry. So we get another 10 to add to the pile. All right, then I have another one I submitted here. I figured this one had a good chance at gemming up. Pulled an auto out of a mojo pack, 2022 tops silver mojo pack. This is the Jose Miranda autograph. Not a ton of value here, but figured I could get it to gem up. And it does. It gems up. So we get another gem mint 10. This one, not it is numbered 114 out of 149. So the Jose Miranda gems up another 10. Doing great on our ratio. All right. This next one going to be a Topps Black Gold. This is from Topps Update. This one numbered. It's a Shohei Otani. 17 out of 299. So it's the tops black gold, black parallel. Just a sweet looking Shohei right here. Obviously, as an Angels fan, I'll take this one. Let's see what this one comes in at. The black parallel of the black gold. Gonna be a tough one. And it is tough. It comes in at a mint nine, just an all black card. Comes in at a mint nine. Just a maybe a little ding up there and a little ding at the bottom on the back, but presents real nice up front. So we get the nine there. And then we have, again, these are all my cards through here, a Bobby Witt Jr. I kind of, I'm starting to PC, not starting, but I've kind of PC'd Bobby Witt for a while now. I have a few nice Bobby Witt cards. So I figured I'd add this one. This is actually from 2022 Tops 3D. Not sure if we can get the three. There we go. Some of that 3D motion on there. A cool little one. Tops 3D, a very underrated set, but some very cool cards on here. This is the Rookie Class Motion Bobby Witt Jr., this one comes in at a gem, mint 10. So this is the base, but it is a very cool one. These are actually inserts within the set. So very cool card to have as a gem, mint 10. I'll take that one. All right, our next one. One of the most popular sets of the year. This and O'Neill Cruz Logo Fractor 2022 Tops Chrome Logo Fractor Edition. O'Neill Cruz, this is the base, but this set, a very valuable set right now. So I figured I'd send some of them in. This one comes in with another Gem Mint 10. I'll take it. So the Gem Mint 10's piling up even more. Our next one, going to be another O'Neill Cruz. This also, this is the Topps Future Stars Logo Fractor Edition from 2022. The Future Stars insert comes in at a Gem Mint 10. So we are just knocking 10's out of the park. So we get the Gem Mint 10 here. I'll take that one. And then we have another O'Neill Cruz. This is going to be, I've graded so many of these from the National. This is from the Rapper Redemption. 
you've been watching my PSA reveal videos, I've done quite a few of these. So 2022 Bowman Chrome O'Neal Cruz wrapper redemption from the National. This one comes in at a gem mint 10 as well. So all the O'Neal Cruises gem mint up. And we have a stack of 10s right here that can't be beat. Now we go to Mike P. Patreon Mike P. Some minute. I don't know. What is this? The 10, uh, about a dozen cards, let's say. We'll start with this basketball. Whoop. Not going to show that one. This one going to be in 2021 Panini Draft Picks. Evan Mobley. This is the variation Mojo Prism. This one numbered 21 out of 25. So a rookie card, Evan Mobley. 2021 Panini Draft Picks. The Mojo Prism comes in at a near mint 8. Not quite sure why we get the near mint 8 on that one. Centering maybe a little off on the back, but that shouldn't hurt it all the way down to an eight. Not sure. Tough card to know. I don't know this set well enough to know about the centering, but we get a near mint eight. So we start off there. That's our second eight. Let's see if we can do better on the next Evan Mobley. This one going to be from 2021 Panini draft picks. This is the brilliance gold prism rookie card. So the brilliance insert, this one is the gold. It's numbered seven out of 10. So let's see what we get on the Evan Mobley here. 2021 Panini draft picks. There we go. The gem meant 10. So if you're going to have one gem up, you might as well have the one numbered to 10 gem up. So congrats on that one, Mike. Another 10 to add to the pile. Now we have a Moses Moody. And this is going to be from 2021 Chronicles. This, uh, this is actually Mosaic Chronicles draft picks. This is not, this is a Mosaic all day. This might be, well, let's see. Let's see what it says on the back. It is Mosaic all day long. No, okay, Chronicles Mosaic draft picks. There we go. Um, this is numbered 8 out of 10 for a minute there. I thought we had a wrong label, but we do not. Chronicles just has Mosaic as draft picks. So Chronicles draft picks, this is the Mosaic and this one is the gold parallel. Moses Moody comes in at a gem. Mint 10. So two numbered to 10s. Gem up as PSA 10s. And we have another Moses Moody. This one numbered 7 out of 10. This one going to be from 2022 Chronicles Draft Picks as well. The gold Moses Moody comes in at a gem. Mint 10. So another 10 right there. So all of the to 10s gem up. That's awesome. And now we go to his baseball. So Mike P submits a very cool card right here. The Paul Goldschmidt. This is a 2011 Bowman Chrome. Paul Goldschmidt. It's going to be the base. That, so this is Bowman Draft. So the Paul Goldschmidt. Not numbered or anything. This is a base. This card comes in. At an EXMT6. So that is a pretty low grade. So if we look on the front, centering is good. Now, to be fair, I kind of think I know why it got a six. I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pick it up on screen. But if we look here on the back, there's a little bit of staining. I'll try and see if I can get it. See, like right up here. There's a little bit of staining on the card. So the Paul Goldschmidt, and it kind of comes like right under the A in Diamondbacks. I'll try and see if I, if you can see, there's like a little bit of yellowing on the card. You can kind of see it here, which I believe is why it took it down to a six. So we get the six on the Paul Goldschmidt. A little disappointing there, but we'll move on. This one, going to be a Jazz Chisholm. Rookie card from 2021, Panini Prism. This is the gold Jazz Chisholm. It is numbered 7 out of 10. So the gold Jazz Chisholm. Let's see what we get this one for Mike. Mike, this one comes in at a mint 9. So we get the 9 on the Jazz Chisholm to 10. Beautiful one right there. Congrats on that one, Mike. And then we have a Jordan Alvarez. This one going to be... From 2020 Panini Chronicles. This is the Titanium Jordan Alvarez. 
This one not numbered. At least I don't think. No, it is not numbered. So the Titanium Jordan Alvarez rookie card comes in at a mint nine as well. So we get a mint nine there for Mike. And then we have a cool one. This one, a Cal Raleigh rookie card. Tops now, number two out of five. So a parallel, orange parallel. This from 2022, tops now. This is road to opening day. This is the orange parallel. Cal Raleigh, let's see what it comes in at. Comes in at a near mint eight. So to be fair, we do have a little bit of a white corner down here. Probably pick that up a little bit on screen. The centering, a little heavy on the left. So I think an eight is actually a fair grade on this card. Would have loved to have seen it come in as a nine, especially with it being number two out of five. But we do get an eight on the Cal Raleigh orange. Now our next card, going to be from 2022. This is going to be Bowman. Bowman Baseball. This is the Julio Rodriguez. This is not technically a rookie card. It's a prospect card. Uh, this is the Invicta insert, though. Tough card to get graded up because of the thickness of the Invicta card. But let's see what we get on the J-Rod. The J-Rod going to come in at a near mint 8 as well. Tough to know why it comes in at an 8. But Mike get a couple eights and a six on this, but he also has a bunch of tens. So let's see if we can take him home on a few more tens. This one going to be the Bowman Scouts top 100 Julio Rodriguez. This from 2022 Bowman as well. So it's Chrome Scouts top 100 ranked third overall. Let's see what this one comes in at. There we go. We're back on the 10 bandwagon. We get a gem mint 10 on the J rod. Two more cards to go. Let's see what we can do. Here we go. This one going to be 2020 Bowman Chrome. This is the Talent Pipeline. This is the Green Parallel. Now, this is kind of an awesome card here. It's got Julio Rodriguez as single A. It's numbered 31 out of 99. So it's got J-Rod. It's got Aaron Knapp and Jared Kelnick. Jared Kelnick still young, still tons of time. He's been hyped, hyped, hyped. If he can put it all together, this card could be a very sweet card. With J, oh, with J Rod alone, it's nice. So let's see the green parallel on the 2022 Bowman Chrome comes in at a gem mint 10 as well. So another gem mint 10 for Mike on the J Rod to 99. Love that one. And then finally, we have for our last card the Bowman Scouts Top 100 2020 Bowman Julio Rodriguez. This one is the base. But it, is, it does have a refractor shimmer on it because it is, or does it? Yeah, it does. So it's got the refractor, but it's not a parallel or anything. They just were refractors as inserts. So 2021 Bowman Chrome, Bowman Scouts Top 100. He was ranked 16th at the time. This one comes in at a gem mint 10 as well. So a very nice submission overall. Remember. If you want me to submit cards on your behalf at no additional charge, all you got to do is be a Patreon. There's a video, uh, there's a link in the video description below that will give you all the information on Patreon. Would love to have you. We did very well on this. We had one, six, one, two, th four, eights. I think this is about, yeah, this is, uh, call it eight, nine, no, yeah, eight nines. And the rest of them were tens. That is a nice stack of tens going off screen. So, Congrats to everyone that submitted. I appreciate everyone watching as you're at, out there in the wild. I hope you are finding the packs that you want to rip. And when you rip them, I hope you are ripping fire. As always, be good to your family. Be good to your friends. Be good to your neighbors. And most importantly, take care of yourselves. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Do all that fun stuff. Until next time, guys, I appreciate you watching. Take care.